I just reviewed Lego's Disney train set, so today we are going to be expanding on this awesome set and creating three more floats for different Disney characters. Let's get right into it. For the first boat, we better go with one of my favorite Disney characters, Stitch, and we're going to make him a rocket ship. Sadly, my phone died, so that time lapse went a little short. But now that it is back alive, I can show you guys the finished model. And obviously, this looks like a junior set, but I think it works pretty well. And here we have Stitch's Rocket. I think this would probably be the highlight of the set. If this were the way to do the expansion pack, you'd get a Stitch minifigure. Hopefully an exclusive one, but probably one in his red jumpsuit. And then, of course, we have the car and I built this one pretty fun I really liked this nose idea and I did have to sacrifice these stud shooters to get it because I had forgotten we still need the piece to be pulled by the train so in order to do that I had to lift these up and then the stud shooters wouldn't still fit so I took those out added um, some details on the side there's a nice place to put stitch and more minifigures if you want and then we have these three things in the back I did not have another slope for the end of that one which is unfortunate but Obviously, if this were a real set, we would fix that. And then on the back, we have a place to attach to another um, train car. But overall, I'm really happy with this. I think it's a lot of fun and a nice little, you know, four plus ride for Stitch. And yeah. So anyways, let's move on to our next idea. So as I was pondering which minifigure to do next, I realized that in my review of the original set, I said that one of my least favorite parts was that Minnie didn't have her own train and just had this little side build. So let's go ahead and build Minnie her own train. Alrighty y'all, so I was able to finish my second train, and this is Minnie's car, and this one I don't think is as strong as my first one, but I think it was okay, you know, it's just kind of a blob of pink and purple, but I think it's nice, you get, I was kind of going for the boutique look, and you are able to spin this wheel, which I think is kind of fun, and so that's a cool feature, and then of course I placed a specific tile that Minnie can stand on to, you know, present the float, but of course there's some other places you could place her around this too, but... Yeah, not as strong as my Stitch one, but I think it's still a nice float. For my last train car build, I wanted to go with a wild card. And of course, the wild card in the last one, I feel like was uh, Woody, since he's not actually Disney, he's Pixar. And so we're going to go in that route, and we are going to be using C-3PO and R2-D2 to make a Star Wars float for my last one. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so I was able to finish my last train, and this is just R2 and C3PO on Tatooine, and I think this is just a fun little float. Not too much to say about it. I thought I did a decent job at building the terrain all around them, and overall, it's just fun. It's a nice little caboose to the train. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the video. Let me know down below in the comments, do you like my train or the original train better? And do you think that LEGO should make an expansion to this set like I tried to do today? And if you still have time, comment on which was your favorite of my three cars. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later on Bricks Floor. Bye.